Welcome to this introduction to Backnet MSDP Networks and Omni integration. In this presentation, we will cover the fundamentals of a Backnet MSDP Network topology, including cabling specifications and addressing requirements. We will see how to configure the Omni comms port for Backnet MSDP communications via Omni's onboard web server. Once the MSTP device is connected and communicating, we will look at how to discover the device in Inditec's ICOM server via a BACnet UDP connection. Connecting a BACnet MSTP device to an Omni controller is a simple exercise. A few items need to be correctly configured for a successful integration. Once connected, Omni by default automatically routes the MSTP data through to the BACnet IP network. The device data can then be viewed in ICOM via a BACnet connection, or shared across the BACnet network to other Omni controllers. The MSTP network needs to be correctly installed and terminated. This includes the end-of-line resistors and daisy-chain topology with no more than 32 devices. This can depend on the manufacturer and could be less, so ensure that you check the documentation for more information on device capacities. Each Omni has end-of-line jumpers that can be set for the start of the MSTP network segment. By default, these are set to OFF. Keep in mind that each Omni COM port can be configured as a BACnet MSTP channel on each Omni. This allows up to three individual MSTP network segments to be created, all ported through to the BACnet over IP network. Cable length is also important. Note that the cable lengths change depending on the board rate selected. The image shown is for reference and shows a total segment length recommended by the BACnet standards. This needs to be checked for each installation and the device's manufacturer's recommendations. All MSTP devices must be configured at the same board rate per segment. In addition to the Omni controller, each MSTP device needs to have a unique BACnet MSTP instance. This is in addition to the BACnet instance as shown. In this example, all devices are configured correctly, including board rates and BACnet MSTP addressing. The configured Omni COM port needs to be set to a unique network number for the BACnet network. For more information on network numbers, refer to the relevant video available on the Initech website. Log into the controller and navigate to the settings and port assignment menu. Access the RS485 menu, then select the port to be configured. Under the protocol list, select BACnet MSTP. Check and adjust the board rate as required. In this case, my device requires 38400 board. Also check and adjust the network number if required. The default for an Omnicom port is 3. This will need to be changed if network number 3 is already in use. To optimise the MSTP link traffic, I can reduce the max masters to a lower number, as I only have a few devices connected on this link. For my project, I will set this to 10. Click the Update button and save the changes. Omni will restart and the configuration implemented. You can also configure the COM ports in addition to all other Omni settings via Focus. Simply edit the settings for the selected controller, then transfer the updated config. Once the MSTP device is connected and the port configured, the comms LED provides some feedback. The normal connected state is an orange appearance to the LED activity. If the LED is red, it can indicate a disconnected cable out to the field or an incorrect board rate set for the device you're connected to. A green LED state indicates the MSTP is initialising or it could mean that the cable is incorrectly terminated. Next we can edit the BACnet UDP connection in ICOM to discover the added MSTP devices. Click the Edit icon to open the connection properties. Click the Rediscover button to locate the device. The BACnet MSTP device will then be added to the address list as Omni automatically routes the MSTP link to the BACnet IP network. Click OK to save the changes. The device will then be listed under the BACnet connection. 
The BACnet data points present values can then be viewed directly in ICOM and used as required in your project for Magellan, Chronicle and other Inertech software, or shared throughout the BACnet network to other BACnet devices or clients. To summarise what we have seen, let's go through some of the main points. Connecting BACnet MSDP devices to an Omni controller is a fairly simple exercise when all the procedures outlined in this presentation are followed. Planning the MSTP network connection is essential to ensure that there are no BACnet instance, MSTP address and board rate conflicts. Following the cabling recommendations and manufacturer's data is important for a successful connection. When the Omni comms port is configured for BACnet MSTP communications, Omni automatically routes the connected MSTP device data to the BACnet IP network. After the network connection is complete, Rediscover the BACnet UDP connection in ICOM to add the new MSTP network devices. The BACnet data points can then be used as required in your project for data sharing or within other Inertech software packages such as Magellan or Chronicle.